right, guys. Well, I'm back today with what is, in my opinion, one of the absolute best semi-auto combat shotguns I've ever fired, the Beretta 1301 Tactical. Ever since I saw Garantham's video on this, I knew I had to give one a try. I generally shoot high value and budget items, but there is always a place for a premium product in my arsenal and on this channel. And when you have something at the pinnacle of performance, I know I wanted to get it out, run some rounds through it, and see if it was worth the hype. This is absolutely worth every single penny and an incredibly high value in my opinion. When you're looking at this compared to some other premium shotguns, you get a lot of add-ons and nice options right out of the box that you don't have to pay for, modify, or add. They just come standard on the 1301 Tactical. There are two different versions of this, one with the more traditional stock and one with the pistol grip stock. I selected the one with the pistol grip stock. Now, after I saw the video, I was looking online, and the MSRP on these guys are right around $15 to $1,550, depending on which version you get. I walked in the Beltway Gun and Pawn, my local FFL, and they had one new in the box for right around $15, did some negotiating, some trading, got a really good deal on it, and I brought it home and man, am I glad I did. In fact, on the exact same day, I was hunting a Benelli M2 and an M4 and actually transferred a Benelli M2 and got to shoot them side by side. And the 1301 blew me away at the quality, the performance, and all of the add-ons for the price. And so that's what we're talking about first. Eventually, I'll do a head-to-head -head video, but no, the 1301 is definitely my favorite because of a few different reasons we'll talk about in this video. So let's start from the front and work our way to the back. And right out of the box, this comes with a tube extension and an 18 and a half inch barrel, which is the minimum legal length that most companies are putting on a shotgun. I believe you can go about to about 18 inches, but 18 and a half seems to be the standard industry standard uh, for those interesting ATF <laughs> tape measures there. So that is great right out of the box. You know, that eliminates this for some field and hunting applications, but that's not what this 1301 Tactical was designed for. It's going to be perfect for three gun competitions tactical competitions, as well as personal defense situations and a wide variety of combat applications. So it comes with a 7 plus 1 tube extension right here. And then if you're running 3-inch shells, it's going to get 6 plus 1. So amazing capacity for barrel length. I mean, it utilizes everything perfectly right to the end. Don't worry, this shotgun is checked clear about five times before making this video. Uh, also right up the front, it's got a tube extension clamp that has a QD slot built in and M-Lock slots built in on the side. Now, how innovative is that? If you wanted to mount a light laser aiming system and a sling attachment, everything's good to go. And I dropped a small pick rail that fits perfectly right here to show you guys how those M-Lock attachments work. It also has a bead front sight and a ghost ring rear sight and a cold hammer forged barrel with a backboard barrel. So you're not going to have any choke extensions or tube extensions, just cylinder bore right there. The other cool thing is because it's a cold hammer forged barrel, it is going to last you a lifetime. And right underneath that, you have a very slim and ergonomic handguard with some nice texturing for adverse weather, and then a nice cut right here to put your hand. I also believe there's a nice spot right here if you wanted to run a pressure pad or a tape switch on either side, depending if you run at a light on the front or not. We will be doing an update video where we add an optic and light and a sling. Today was more of just an overview and first shots video down at the range, but I couldn't stop running rounds through it because it was such a joy. Moving a little bit further back to the center of the gun itself, I do want to talk about the action and its reliability down at the range, as well as all the other ergonomic features that Beretta has added to the 1301 Tactical Series. The very first thing I want to point out is that they use an integrated blink gas operation system which allows us to run 36% faster. I know Garantham talked about this in his video and to him it wasn't a huge deal but something to consider. For me it is a massive deal. I actually brought out the Benelli M2 and was out running the gun consistently, meaning I was pulling the trigger faster than the gun could reset the action, allowing it to have a dead trigger. If I slowed down just a second to let the Benelli M2 finish cycling, it was 100% reliable. There is no possible way I personally can outrun the Beretta 1301 Tactical. When I searched forums and dug really deep, a lot of people were complaining about outrunning their Benelli M2 and having to do different things to correct that, but I've never seen a single person be able to outrun the 1301 Tactical. 
So that means if you're in a stressful situation and you are just, I mean, dumping rounds in a defensive situation, how frustrating would that be just because you're efficient on the trigger, running really fast splits, you outrun the trigger and get a dead gun in a personal defense situation? That's why the Benelli M2, for me anyways, has been relegated to a competition and range use only gun. The fact that I outran the trigger five or six times in a range trip means it's no longer viable for a personal defense situation and why the, ben or why the Beretta 1301 has now stepped up to fill that role. This has now become my primary personal defense shotgun once a light gets installed as well as a sling and this is going to be my go-to talking about the loads i ran everything from light buckshot or light bird shot some of the lightest bird shot that i own all the way up to high brass bird shot number four buck standard double lot buck slugs it fed and ran them beautifully also the way that gas system operates there is not a lot of recoil it is a light shotgun, but if you can manage the recoil of the Benelli, you can definitely manage the recoil of the 1301. I could keep all my shots on target. As you can see in the intro, this is probably one of the fastest tube-fed shotguns I've ever fired, absolutely dumping through tubes as fast as I can pull the trigger with no worries about outrunning the action. The other cool thing about this is right at the heart of the gun, that receiver, every single component has been upgraded for a more user-friendly application. The magwell on this thing is absolutely huge. All of the edges are chamfered and you can easily add <coughs> shells with no issues whatsoever. I mean, I can shove my thumb in here and it is not getting stuck. Um, if you really focus on loading, it is one of the smoothest that I've ever felt. Um, if you're, I mean, you can, I guess, get your thumb if you kind of weasel it like right there, you could sort of get it stuck. But this is so much easier to load um, than other uh, loading gate shotguns. It's just already chamfered. It's large. You can quad load this thing. You can dump rounds into it. And I'm no tactical, uh, I mean, no competitive shooter by any means. I don't shoot three gun competitions much. Occasionally I'll go to one and shoot and they're just for fun. But um, this right out of the box is great. In fact, it feels a little bit better than the Benelli M2. So already a bonus right there. It also has um, a very ergonomic safety. It's oversized, you can see it right there. Um, this works out really well. It's positive, it's got a large area to press. The slide really, or the bolt release on this guy is absolutely spectacular. So we'll lock that back and this, look at this lever. It's a massive lever. In fact, it's so big, I was actually top loading the gun and continuing over and slapping that lever to drop the bolt home, and it was working out great. I've never loaded a shotgun like that before. Top loaded it and continued to move over my hand and slap that lever. I know some tactical shooter or competition shooter is probably screaming at me somewhere, but I'm learning the gun and I noticed I could do that. It's also great if you have gloved fingers. Again, a large actuation on the safety, a large loading magwell so you can just jam rounds in there, and a large bolt release, again, making it great. It also has an extended and tapered charging handle. Just well thought out, elegantly designed. It works out great. It also combines a ghost ring rear sight with a pick rail. Nothing walked loose. It functioned great. I'm about 300 rounds in with no failures whatsoever, and I expect this to last a lifetime. And this 1913 pick rail is going to be perfect for different optics, um, so you can really drop it low and utilize the sights as well as the optic right there. Moving along, the trigger itself is very crisp, and it's great. Um, no complaints about the trigger. Again, as you can see in the intro, I can absolutely rattle off shots. Uh, no worries there. It also has a rubberized grip with some nice texturing. It's incredibly ergonomic, and the length of pull in the shotgun stock is actually fairly short. Thank goodness. I'm so frustrated with grabbing a shotgun. I'm 5'8". Um, and having the length of pull just a little bit too long and being slightly uncomfortable and then only having options to extend it. In the box, you do have different options to extend the stock length and you can get the fixed stock version or this pistol grip stock version. It also has a cheek riser and then it has a spot for sling attachments um, on either side. So that's really convenient. You can also attach that sling swivel down there and it's got a nice rubberized buttstock that absorbs recoil but is not overly spongy. In a nutshell, this is one of the most ergonomic functional shotguns I've ever fired. I can't state 
how nice this is. About the only complaint is the price. It is not cheap, but I can understand why they're charging it. You're getting the legendary Beretta name, and you're also getting enhanced features across the entire shotgun, whereas if you are buying a Benelli M2, you're gonna have to start adding those tube extensions. I mean, you're gonna have to start adding extended accessories and enhanced accessories to start competing with that. You're gonna have to start custom fitting the magwell to be as nice as this one. Um, and again, you can still outrun that Benelli M2 if you're gonna be shooting it fast enough. Now, I don't wanna, I don't wanna stress that too much if you're going to be using this as a field shotgun or a competition shotgun. Like in all in all realness, you're not going to be outrunning that M2. Like, you're going to be transitioning from target to target. The only time I outrun it was when I was just dumping rounds on a singular target, not transitioning positions, pulling the trigger as fast as I could. About the only time I think that could possibly happen would be in a personal defense situation where somebody's coming down the hall with a gun or you're engaging a target and you are just dumping the tube on target. I could see you in a stressful situation outrunning that M2 without thinking about your split times. So that is something to consider. I've got an M2 review coming up. I'm really pumped about that gun. It cycled great. It functioned great. Uh, but the 1301 Tactical is the king in my humble opinion. You know, take my opinion with a grain of salt. Watch Grand Thumb's video on this. Watch a few other videos on this. But I really wanted to let you know it's been 100% reliable with the lightest loads to the highest pressure loads in every single application. The Beretta 1301 Tactical, in my opinion, is the perfect right out of the box semi-auto combat shotgun. You won't be disappointed. I'll try to leave all the information on my campsite page. My campsite page is an aggregate site of all the best deals I find on the internet. All of that information and that campsite page will be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks to Beltway Gun and Pond for hooking me up with a good deal on this 1301 Tactical. Have a good one.